see me. Do you know how long I've been waiting for some, you know, just a little bit of admiration? <laughs> but here's the piece de resistance. Oh, we got to check this out. This one is so gorgeous. After so many years, and I'll bet you decades, this will eventually break down. And when it does break down, you've got these great structures that are basket material, but aren't necessarily losing their continuity. So you fold it in half, and I love that this one's sewn together with the roots of the spruce tree. Look at that knot, isn't it great? It's too cool. So they took that basket, that big beautiful basket, and made it into a baby carrier. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't you love this? Check this out. So these are some spruce roots that I just harvested this spring. Look at the color difference. Of course there's, um, you know, dirt and everything, but even in an area where it's quite clean, look at the color difference. Yeah. This is one that actually is the pattern that showed up in my dreams, and it's my tattoo pattern on my hand. But it's like the, um, beach uh, grass or the seaweed, especially in the winter time when the tide lines form, you know, in a 24 hour period, we've got two high tides and it'll form two tide lines. These are those black lines of the seaweed along the beach. Check out these color differences. So when she wove, you can imagine that this grass was not very different. The red must have been just spectacular. And here we see a faded line. There's probably on the inside, take a peek. There's where the story is. Look at that beautiful green and red in there. Yeah. And you know, I didn't notice so much that dark brown. A lot mm. of times this dark sort of reddish brown that you see, one of the favorite dye materials was chocolate wrappers. I think that's part of the fun of it. Um, a lot of the gals back home that are starting to weave now, it's becoming a lot more active. They're starting to do some Dying, not necessarily using the, um, these are, many of them are probably aniline dyes. So they're using aniline dyes too, but they're very subtle tones, you know, sort of mm -hmm. some muted flavors. But when I get into the museums, I'm like, oh no, come on, girls, kick it. Give it some lunch. <laughs> yeah. <That's laughs> you gotta right. do it. It would be much more brilliant than that. Yeah. Oh, look at it. You know, it's, it's just in its simplicity. This is probably the perfect weaving. I, I just symmetrically, you know, and just the, the quantity. There's always two um, warps for every weave that you see. There's probably thousands of the warp elements. Sort of like when you were looking at the um, basket that I had. It looked like a bunch of hair. <laughs> yeah, that there would be thousands of these in order to create that piece. For something like this, you're probably looking at at least six football fields worth of crawling around on your hands and knees. Yeah, and that's just the harvesting and the splitting. Mm -hmm. And then you get to do the weaving. This one probably would have taken, I bet, two to three hundred hours to weave. Mm -hmm. um, and I've actually seen this gal's work before. Um, this pattern is off of the blue and white china. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is from the blue and white china. You can find those big pieces of blue and white china. Mm -hmm. We all have them, they're brought out at potlatch time. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh gosh, do you know where you guys got that? And one of the gals that I was talking to, she said, oh, that's been in our family for years. It has, it's been in their family since the 1700s, okay. when the Boston men brought them up. I also know from insight that my gram gave me, she said, you know, she's the one that showed me the weaving arrangement. She said, be sure when you're weaving, she said, go down to the store. Of course, she lived in Pelican, there was one store. And there was only one boat that brought in the supplies every year. She said, find out what the china is for the year. And she said, be sure and weave patterns that match the china. She said, oh, those white ladies are powerless over baskets that match their china. <laughs> I loved it. So she knew how to meet her market. Absolutely. <laughs> meet your market. Yeah. Well, this is one of the beauties, you know, one of those beauties of the collection that's like, if we neglected to mention her, she would be a little offended. It is a dog salmon jumping. I know because of the angle that the weaver put this, you can see it jumps not only once, but it jumps over and over. And then I went to Cordova and I was teaching up 
along with the EAC people, and I came across some salmon labels. And every salmon label had a jumping fish. Well, what's really a treat for me is this is the Catella brand. Catella was um, one of the larger basket weaving communities. Catella no longer exists, it's gone. Um, the people have since moved to either Yakutat or Cordova. That area of the coast that used to be actively basket weavers, and in fact, I see their baskets, I see the Kayak Island people's baskets. Both of those communities no longer exist. So it's kind of fun to run across them and allow them to have their own voice again. I think what I find is sometimes people tend to overlook sort of those original communities. Mm -hmm. And these folks, sometimes there's other people that are kind of saying, oh yeah, you know, this looks like our basketry. Yeah, we do this. You know, and I'm like, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think that that might be, you know, actually the label says, and if you look at the design, ah, it belongs to a people that no longer have that voice, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. You know, I think so many times what we do today, something like that, like camping out and stuff, is like totally play. But sometimes that play that we do is probably the most important thing we do, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, and that's what it takes. And I think, you know, even though I don't know this weaver, I know that she had many, many gorgeous days. Can't you just about see them in these little beautiful weaves that she had? As she smiled, as she got that long run of weavers, you know, I mean, it's in there. That beautiful day is in there. 